Hey everyone, it's Jeannie again, and it's been a long time, no video in terms of my floss tube, but I thought I would um, show you some finishes. Um, and I've got, let's see what I've got. I've got finishes, I've got whips, I've got haul, and I've also got, um, I actually won some giveaways, so I've got some stitchy kindness too, so I thought I would um, just show you everything and um, and get a little bit caught up. I never did do a mania like recap. Um, I think my last video was talking about my plans for mania and I got some of the things done I was planning on for my mania and I got and some of the things I did not um, I did not get completed but um, but anyway so let me show you. Um, I've got a couple of, I've got a, three finishes. So um, some of the things I did that I plan to get finished, I did get finished. Um, the first one is um, June of the A Greyhound Year from the Blue Flower. And again, I'm doing these individually on a higher count. This pattern was originally on a 40 count. And if you can see with the borders, they're all together. And I'm doing them individually on 28 count. So here is June. And everything in June, you guys, oh, sorry, is called for, um, except for the linen. I went ahead and, and went with a, instead of a natural colored, I think it, I can't remember what it calls for, flax, I think. Um, I went with this um, blue color. So, um, and I've been switching up the fabric on all of them. So, but everything else is called for. I do have some mistakes in this, though, you guys. Um, there's supposed to be only um, two, there's supposed to be two open stitches, uh, for the Greyhound's belly and so my Greyhound's a little thicker because I added an extra stitch and then I missed like two stitches on the watermelon so my watermelon's a little bit shorter and squatter than what calls for on the pattern but I decided not to pull it out I thought it was fine so um, these are just for me so um, anyway uh, so that is my June Greyhound year and some of my plans you guys is to move on and get back on track and start getting them done in the months that they are due so I will um, start on July here next month I do think I need to place an order though because I've been buying the um, the floss with you know like three months at a time and so I need to buy July August and September floss I mean some of them cross over but there will probably be a few new ones in those too so that is my Greyhound year and then one of my other finishes you guys is I finished the the forever love from Silver Creek samplings and I finished this for my um, for my niece let me see I think I forgot to pull out the picture let me grab it because I did make some changes I changed the fabric um this is uh an ada and it's a kind of a smoky white um ada so it is modeled but it's like one of those printed uh modeled fabrics and i did use all the called for colors so and those were all fancy floss and then uh, but i did um here let me show you um the pattern Let's see. Oh, and let me take it out because I've got some glare. Sorry, I'm not very well prepared. Um, but it has, um, it had on it these, um, these. I think they're supposed to be doves. These birds, um, but to me, they look like ducks. And I, to me, ducks aren't very a very weddingy type of bird. So um, I took out the wedding ducks. Um, they also, you guys, the white. They were called for a a variegated white um, that wasn't going to show up on my lighter fabric. So um, so I and it decided to, like I said, to change them because I wasn't crazy about them for this. And then also um, didn't think the color would show up. So I opted to, instead of doing the wedding ducks, I opted to um, put in hearts. Because there were already hearts in the piece. And I don't know if you can see, if you can catch that. But I used a um, sh kind of a champagne gold crinix. So they are, they shimmer a little bit. And then down here in the... Um, in their 
initials I decided to use the light pink that's in the flowers and their initials and you guys it's it's pretty subtle I mean looks like it's just showing up pretty well here on camera but it's it's pretty subtle um, but since I hadn't used white in anything I didn't want to introduce another color so I went with the pink and then I also did and I thought that I talked about I toyed with the idea of doing the dark brown but I thought it was too harsh it made it everything too dark but then for the wedding rings here, again, I used the metallic thread and I changed this little heart to also a metallic heart thread. So I'm really, really, overall, I'm really happy how it came out. I think it looks really pretty. Um, it's not very big. I, I mean, I made it, I, I did stitch it on a bigger count because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger than um, what the finish would have been called for on like 36 count fabric. So, um, because it's a, it's a wedding gift. So now I need to, um, to get it framed. I think I'm going to, I think my plan is still going to be a kind of a taupe colored mat. Um, my niece is totally into neutrals. In fact, her, her wedding is all taupe. Uh, taupe and navy blue so she really does likes neutral she doesn't like a lot of color and um so and these pinks are even though there there are pinks in this they're a very neutral kind of nudie pink so so i think i'm gonna have it matted in kind of this taupey color that the the smaller words are in and then um, i want to do kind of a champagne gold kind of a thin frame that will bring out the metallic stitching and I think that'll be really pretty and nice and neutral for her decor so um so that's my plan and the wedding's not till October so I'm in really good shape with this I'll probably think about taking it to the framer oh gosh probably in August um I have a couple other things I'd like to get framed in the meantime. So anyway, but really I'm um, happy with how that came out. So that was my other cross stitch finish. And you guys, while I'm talking about finishing, I hope you don't mind. I will show you um, that I did. I've been doing some felt applique and I did um, finish up my, my husband's. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to zoom out. And my camera is a touch screen and it's pretty, um, it's pretty old, but anyway, so, and in my last video, I showed you that I was still working on, on applicating these, um, you know, 30, 35 year old stockings. Um, so anyway, so I, I did make up this little drum from that Bucilla stocking kit. Um, I did that. I applied on what was already here. These had originally had been glued. And then I took off some of these things, and um, for the tree, I went ahead and sewed the um, sewed on the sequins, and I put a new bell at the top of the tree. Um, same thing with the um, the little football. I repaired it, and I actually applied it on. You can still see some glue blobs in different places, but then I also applied on the year. This was the year I made the stocking when we were um, when we were dating or engaged um and then because we got married in 1987 and then um this is the border that my mom crocheted um for um the top of all the stockings and so i ended up doing just kind of doing a whip stitch and sewing this back on and they were this was falling off and they were in really rough shape and if you go back on my videos you can kind of see what it looked like to begin with so um so i did complete that and i was really happy to complete that i have started on my son's um, I'm doing his next, the repair for his next, but I haven't, um, done a whole lot on that. There's really not much to show. So those, you guys, are my finishes. Let's jump into my whips. There's not very many, you guys. I know I showed my, my mania plans, and I really didn't get to, those. that was really all I did. Um, I didn't put a lot of pressure on myself, um, to, to do a whole lot of, you know, to be worrying about stuff a whole lot. So, um, and not putting too much pressure on myself if I didn't get, um, very much done. And so, um, so I didn't get as much done as I planned, but I did, I think I worked on everything except for my full coverage piece. Um, but I, and here's what I got done. The other thing, one of my, my other weeks in Stitch Sania was working on my Dragon of the Deeps from, um, Dragon Dreams cross stitch. Let me show you the picture or the preview. So this is what it looks like. It's a mermaid and a dragon, which is um, my, I, you know, I always make 
whether it's paper crafting or cross stitch, I make dragons for my son and mermaids for my daughter. So when I saw this pattern, I'm like, I absolutely have to do this. And my plan was to get this whole top border done. Well, you can see I didn't, I didn't get very far, but I did get um, the back stitching done in the shells, and I did get started on the um, the Karen Water Lilies on the waves. Not very far, but that's a silk thread, which I love, love stitching with silk. So, but again, I'm still really struggling, you guys, to get very much stitching done with my kittens. So um, if you guys have any tips for me, let me know. But as soon as it's like as soon as I get my stitching out, they know and they are, you know, all up in my business while I'm trying to stitch. So I did work on that for um, for one of the weeks. And then my other plan was to work on the last week was to work on my realist wave. And I'm sorry, this is there's kind of quite a bit of glare on this, but this is my only full coverage piece that I have going at the moment. And I was gonna um, work on this for the fourth week, and I never did get to it, you guys. Um, so um, I ended up um, not really working on it, but um, I ended up taking it. Also, one of my kittens jumped on it on the on the scroll frame and um, kind of ripped it off the scroll frame. So um, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put it back on a cue snap, but I didn't work on it. But my plan is to actually work on it. Um, I think I'm going to take, this is going to be my focus piece for the month of July. I'd really like to try to get a page finish. And this is, I've, I'm at the edges of this page. I'd really, really like to get this done. And that's in the middle of the piece here. So, um, so I'd really like to get a page finish. So I think I'm going to focus on that um, for July. Um, cause I'm, I've been in the mood to work on full coverage. And, um, so, and since I didn't get to this in, um, mania, then I didn't get very far on it. Um, the other thing I did do one new start and I remember in my mania video, I said, I, I might start things I might not. And, um, so I only started one thing and it's a teeny tiny, it wasn't even anything that I showed you, but it's this little, um, artiste mini um, little mini kit and I'm actually going to stitch this for my best friend in Indiana um, and I started on oh there's the pattern sorry um, I started on it but I'm kind of changing the colors of the teapot I didn't I don't really like the dark pink in it so I'm making the spat the accents on the um, on the teapot actually green so the teapot will be green and blue and then I'm keeping the cup pink which I just I started on that with a little blue saucer and so um so I just started on that and this I actually took my first plane flight um to um went actually went to Texas over Memorial Day and I just took that with me because it was something easy to take on the plane um let's talk about um about stitchy kindness I uh, gosh you guys I, I really hit the jackpot I won um I, I haven't oh my gosh, it's been years since I've even entered a giveaway. Um, and I, and back then it was on pay. So I've won, I've won a couple over the past 10 or 12 years I've been on YouTube and for paper crafting, but I hardly ever even enter them on floss tube because I oftentimes I just don't get back to people's videos, but I, I just made a comment on a few of these and I won a few things. So one of the things I won, you guys, was from um, Summer Ramsey, and she's got her business card in here. Let me let me pull this out, and it was this really cute chart. Um, it's called. It said October. Oh my gosh, you guys! I should have taken this out. I'm sorry. Um, it's from Pine Mountain Crafts, and it's called October Snapshot. So there is the the picture, and it's really cute. It's like a little sampler that has a witch and a cauldron and a cute little cat and so I won this pattern from Summer and she did she sent along her business card so if you're interested I would oftentimes she has one of her girls in her um, in her videos too and, and she's a relatively new frost tube floss tuber um, so but that is her contact information so um, but anyway I wanted to share that with you and say thank you um, Summer um, I love it and I'm really I was really happy to get it another thing you guys I won was from Janine McGowan at um, the Blue Flower and I was so thrilled to get this she was giving away this beautiful green fabric 
and she sent me a beautiful card to oh my dress on it and hers um, she has she sent along a beautiful card but also a um, this beautiful green modeled it's 36 count called spring fling um, I don't know who the I don't I'm not sure who the dyer is but anyway but I won that from her and I was thrilled to I was thrilled to win something um, Janine is is Oh my gosh, one of my top three designers. Just love her. She did the Greyhound year. And um, so, and I also have, um, oh my goodness, a sampler of hers that has bears on it. The name is escaping me. I'll put it in the show notes. Um, but I won that from um, Janine and got a really nice, pretty card from her. Really nice. So that was super fun. And then I also one from a gal called Stitch Again Sam. She was giving away um, a, a big, big, nice, large piece of this emerald green Ada. And um, she had bought a pack that had several in it and she was, had, wasn't was going to use them all. And so I hope you can see that in the camera, but it's a really pretty, it's, it's looking a little lighter on the camera than it is. But so she, so I won that too, all within about 10 days. And so, and she's also a paper crafter. So she may have had this beautiful handmade card that she sent. And then she also sent some, um, die cuts and which I love because I am also a paper crafter and the die cuts you guys are little um, are actually stitchable and they're little hoops with a little stitchable center so she sent me those as well so thank you so much Sam I love them and I think this is a great segue right into haul because um, Sam got these this beautiful um, dark green Ada to go to stitch a um, one of the patterns in the new Emma Congdon um, cross, cross stitch for the earth. And um, I also bought the book. And so I think I'm going to stitch, I'm going to use that piece of Ada, I'm trying to zoom out you guys, sorry, um, to cross stitch the same one that Sam bought it for. So, um, and I, in fact, I messaged her and thanked her again for the, um, for the fabric, but also asked her to let me know when she is going to, um, to start this project. Let me find it. Um, she specifically bought it for um, one, I think it's called Between the Pines. And it's one of the ones I love in the booklet. Let me see if I can find it. Of course, I won't be able to find it. But you guys, I do love almost every pattern in this book. It's so cute. Yes, Between Two Pines. Here it is. And um, so this is the pattern that she got that dark green Ada on. Because some of these, the darker trees are not stitched. So this, this, ha this pattern has a lot of... Um, like open space on it but it says between two pines is a doorway to a new world and that's a a James Muir um, quote and um, he was like the father of our national parks so um, anyway so I think I'm gonna stitch since I, I won that fabric from Sam I'm gonna stitch that pattern on that fabric eventually I don't know exactly when but those were my um, those were my uh, winnings um, and stitchy kindness that I got. So thank you to all of the people who are doing giveaways and, um, you know, like I said, chose me to be the winner. So that's great. So um, I also have some other haul. I guess I have kind of a lot of haul. Um, I, I splurged on a few things and um, and stuff. But, um, but one of the little things I got when I had to go to Joann's, I actually went to Joann's and I kitted up or I got all the floss that I needed for um, the Be Well and Stitch um, Satsuma Street um, Let's Stay Home. And so I have that. I was gonna, I was thinking about starting that for Mania, and then I just didn't get around to it. And that is one that's downloaded on my tablet. So um, it wasn't one that was real easy to take on the plane um, when I traveled. So I didn't get it started, and that was the week that I would have started it. But Anyway, um, so when I was there, um, they had this little kit. It was, I think it was even on sale, but my daughter has wanted me to, um, to stitch her a fairy. And I just thought this, I don't know if I'll, if and when I'll do this one, but I thought it was cute. It was even a percentage off of $3.99 and I thought she was pretty cute and I liked the colors in it. So, um, I don't know who, I don't know who, whose kit this is. 
Oh, it's a de de design works. Oh, and it's a Joan Elliott. I didn't even know that, but the pattern is, is a Joan Elliott. So anyway, pretty cute. Um, then I'm getting back to talking about doing a fairy for my daughter. Um, I, you know, I had done, uh, if you've been watching my floss tube for any length of time, you will know that I did a Nora Corbett mermaid for her. And I, but I also bought a, I bought a, um, realist fairy kit that I thought I might do for her. And then the more I thought about it, the more I thought I really want to do a, I want to do another Nora Corbett design for her, for her fairy. And I saw somebody, I wish I could remember who it was that had recently finished this one. This one is the petal fairy and I just love the colors in it. I love the flower. Um, and I just thought it, I love her pose. I love her face, everything about it. So I decided that this was the fairy that I wanted to do, um, for my daughter. It doesn't, it has a couple of beads, not very many. So I went ahead from one, two, three stitch and bought the pattern, the beads, and then it calls for 32 count natural linen. And so I went ahead and bought the fabric for it too. So I'm going to stitch it on the call for, I think everything else is DMC. I think, oh, there's some Krynek. Um, but I think it might be a clinic that's discontinued, so I'll have to look and see. Um, but yeah, so, um, so I'm, I have a, clearly I haven't started it yet, but that's the, this is the fairy that I've decided I'm going to do for my daughter, at least the first one I'm going to do. So, um, so that's some of my haul. Um, I also, you guys, I'm, I'm kind of on this kick of wanting to do at least one piece by, um, certain kind of popular or, um, or kind of staple designers. And so I'm kind of glad to know that other fairies at Joan Elliott, cause I'd really like to do a Joan Elliott piece. I really want to do a Joan Elliott dragon, but you know, she's not selling those anymore. So they're kind of hard to come by. So I don't know that I'll ever get a chance to do that, but I, um, might do one of her fancy ladies or maybe just this fairy. Um, but the, another one I want to do, you guys is a Paula Vaughn. And so I actually saw this kit on Amazon and these, you know, Paula's, Paula's are kind of, for, to some people consider them kind of dated, but for me, um, I've, this, this kit really spoke to me because, um, not only was my mom an avid quilter, but she, um, also, I have some from my great grandmother that are this wedding ring, um, pattern that are made out of all the scraps of my mom's clothing when she was a little girl. So, um, so I went ahead, this is, um, a kit um, designs for the needle. Um, it's called Pink Ribbon, and like I said, it's designed by Paula Vaughn. So I went ahead and got that. I don't know when I'll start it, but I just wanted to, I just eventually I'd like to have a piece by Paula Vaughn. So, and this one, like I said, looks like the quilts that I have, my antique quilts that I have. So I got that one. And then I also, another thing, which I haven't started this yet, this is actually a stitch along that's going on right now on the, um, uh, from the Fat Quarter Shop, um, and it's called Flea Market Flowers, and this one, you guys, also really spoke to me. I don't, um, I don't want to say I don't like the, the, um, the Fat Quarter Shop designs, because I usually really like them, but I've never been, because they're really colorful, and they're not real complicated, um, but I hadn't been real, um, I, had, I just hadn't seen any of their stitch alongs or any of their patterns that I was like, oh yeah, I really, really need to stitch that or I, I want to go ahead and get that. This one, however, I am in love with the colors in this and it's all DMC, um, super, super pretty. And so I, I thought, um, I'm going to go ahead and get that. And I'm not, um, I, there, there's a stitch along going on on it right now, but I'm not, doing that, doing it as a stitch along because I wasn't really ready to start it. And I think I said in my last video, I wasn't really in the mood to start things and I'm still not, I still kind of want to stitch on my whip. So I'm not putting any pressure on myself, but I did go ahead and get the pattern. I would have bought the floss pack, but they were sold out. So I just went and got the floss at Hobby Lobby. And then I did, but I did go ahead and get the vintage cloth um, to, and this is 28 count Lugana. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to do this and it's on barley. And I'm actually, um, the Stitching Mommy, Sarah, she's doing it one over one. And I might do that. Cause it's otherwise it's going to be pretty huge, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm, I'm sort of considering that maybe I will do that, do it one over one. 
um, on 28 count. And then um, I also bought, every, so many people are raving about the Linda cloth. And so I decided just to try it. So I just bought one piece of it. This is in the, it's 100% cotton, 27 count Linda. And I bought it in this Whisper, which is a light gray. And I, I do like the feel of it. I think I, think I am going to like it. So I went ahead and just purchased that when I was purchasing from the Fat Quarter Shop. So I got that. So that was part of my haul and then you guys my big splurge let me zoom out here is I don't know if you have seen the new pattern it's a collaboration between um, Lindy Stitches and the Blue Flower so it's Stephanie Webb and Janine McGowan and um, they put together a collaboration and Stephanie on her website was selling it as a kit that had the this really cute project bag so, um, super cute, and I'm trying to think of who made the project bag. Um, it's called the 805 Stitcher. Oh, she must be near me, because that's my, my area code. She must be in California, the 805 Stitcher. So she made this bag with this super cute whales on it. And then, and look at the, the zipper pull. And you guys, I really wanted to buy a project bag, one of these one of these vinyl front project bags, because I want to make some, but I, I really, and there's lots of good tutorials, but I wanted to see one in person and be able to kind of see the stitching. And so, but I don't, I don't shop on like Instagram um, and really Etsy. I had, I've had my identity stolen on Etsy and I don't, all those ones where you have to kind of be on there and you kind of have to jump in and you might get a bag, you might not, I, that stresses me out. So I don't purchase things like that, but this was a perfect way to get it. So super cute bag, really, really like it. Um, and I also got the fabric. So, and this is 32 count Whisper Belfast by Zweigart. Um, so one is Zweigart's um, kind of over dyed looking, um, but I, I, I also got this from Stephanie, so I got that. And then you guys here are, and, and it had it also came with all of the fancy floss. There is um, DMC. Oh, there's a little free pattern from Stephanie. Super cute. It's a little mouse. Thank you, Jeannie from Steph. And it, it also came with the the fancy floss. So there's still some DMCs I need to purchase, but look at how pretty that fancy floss is. It is um, Sandcastle. This is all weeks. Um, Cadet is that pretty kind of green uh, or kind of teal. Bark, which is a beautiful mottled brown. There is um, Red Rocks, which is kind of a rusty, um, rusty red. Oh, there's Sandcastle again. This one is. Um, Bright leaf, beautiful variegated gold, and then there's also one called Twilight, which is the darker blue. But aren't those pretty? So it came again, fancy floss fabric. Um, she also threw in. I guess I may as well show you um, these cute little sticky tabs, little sticky notes with little mermaids, and there's a mer cat and a little narwhal. Super cute. And then also one of her book plates or things that can go on the back of your work, which I love. And then here are the patterns. So this was Stephanie's um, contribution. Um, there's She did um, one, two, three, four, five of the squares. So you can see there, there's the pirate, the seagulls, um, an anchor. Look at that, that's a, that's a hammerhead shark like peeking into the frame and a boat. And the idea, you guys, is this is, oh, sorry for the glare. You can sew these, or, you know, do all these together. Love it. It reminds me almost of a carriage house sampling. So super cute. And I'm going to do it just like this. And then the this was Janine's contribution. So she did the, sea, the seaside squirrels, the octopus, um, this little girl, I don't want, jumping off a, of, off up here and then the mermaid so can you see those I'm sorry that glare's not very good but anyway so and then there was a couple little pieces of candy in there too um, so yeah so that was my big my big big splurge I don't usually spend that much at one time on for, on one thing but we know it's all expensive to get things get things up but that is you guys my floss tube in terms of plans um, I think I told you I'm gonna I'm gonna work on my realist wave. Um, I will probably work on 
um, the little teapot too to try to get that done and finished. And then I may go back to the Dragon Dragons of the Deeps. That July just seems like a really good time to work on um, on stuff that's kind of oceany. So um, and I have a lot of that. So I think that's what I will do. Um, so that's it for me, you guys. Um, I hope you're getting lots of fun stitching done, and I will talk to you soon.